Have you ever wondered what the Files app was for? I mean, you probably, you know, figured it was for storing files, but you probably never figured out the way to get stuff in there, and if you did manage to get something in there, how to get it out. Well, the Files app is powerful, and it's one of those things you need to get your head around if you're going to get the most out of your iPad. So if you'd like to learn a few basic things about the Files app, then stick around. I've got five quick tips that'll have you up and running in no time. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. This channel is all about helping seniors and beginners get the most out of their iPad and iPhone. And today's video is all about the Files app. Now this app used to be a mess. And for me, it wasn't worth the time trying to figure the stupid thing out. Then Apple finally took a swing at fixing it and came up with a really good way to store and retrieve files on your iPad. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to find the places you can store files, known as locations, how to view the folders your iPad automatically creates, and how to create and name your own folders, how to open a file that's stored in a folder, that's not hard, how to scan a paper document to a folder. I had a video on Apple Notes about how to scan into Notes, but you can scan a paper into a paper document into the Files app too. And then lastly, how to tag a file for quick retrieval. All right. Let's get started. First thing I want to talk to you about is location. So you go to the Files app, and the Files app is this little icon with the blue folder on it. Tap on it. And if you'll notice, you have something called locations right here. Locations, favorite, and tags. We're going to look at locations. And here, in locations, you've got iCloud Drive, on my iPad, and recently deleted. Now, I, iCloud Drive is something that comes, you get a little bit of storage whenever you buy an iPad and it's automatically on here and you can store things on iCloud Drive. But you can also store things locally on your iPad so that if you were ever out somewhere and you didn't have an internet connection, you could still view the documents or whatever you have in your files. And that's what On My iPad is for. And then of course recently deleted is if you've deleted a document and you by accident and you need to get it back. You can typically find it in the recently deleted folder. So those are your three main locations. Now, it is important to know that you can add other locations there. So if you have um, Google Drive uh, or something like that, you can put that in there as well and get access to that. So um, that's something to think about. But for right now, we're just gonna talk about what comes on your iPad and those locations are iCloud Drive, on my iPad and recently deleted. And so everything you have in files is going to be in one of those um, three folders. Hope that makes sense. It's pretty simple. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to view folders that are automatically created by your iPad. So in a typical computer system, you might create your own folder structure. On the iPad, it creates folders for you for certain applications. So let's take a look. We go back into locations and I tap on iCloud Drive, you can see there are some folders here and I didn't create any of those folders. There's a downloads folder, I have a great app called Drafts, Keynote, Posted, and Shortcuts. And those applications created those folders automatically for me. But I can have other folders on iCloud Drive that I create. And this is how you do that. You simply tap on the little folder with the plus icon up here. And it creates a folder and you can name it. We'll call that my test folder. And it's as simple as that. And now I've got my test folder. And if I open it, well, there's nothing in there. But it's pretty simple, and that's the simple way and the easy way to create folders. And you can do the same thing on my iPad. You can create my local folder. I created my test folder there before I started this video. And if you want to delete a folder, all you do is slide over and click delete. So my test folder is here in iCloud Drive, and I had another one called my test folder on my iPad, but I deleted that. And now I've got something called my local folder. Very simple, and that's how you add a folder. One other thing I want to show you is how to add something to the folder. So here's a good example. If 
I open up Safari as a site app and here is a picture on my website learning how to use the iPhone and iPad you can actually just tap it and drag it over into the folder and now that picture is in the folder just like that and that's a, just a quick way of how to add a file to a folder next thing I want to show you is just how to get to the files that are stored in a folder so if we go back to iCloud Drive and we have my folder structure here you can see where it says one item no items two items two items you can tap on that and it'll take you to the file that's inside the folder and if you tap on that you can see what was in that file to get back you can just tap on files up here at the top in your back and then you can go back to iCloud Drive another way to do it is to use columns and if you tap this little icon with the three lines on it right there you can tap on columns and now you have a list of the same folders but if I tap on Keynote it shows the folder over here I didn't have to open the folder to see what was in it I just tapped on it and now I can see same thing with shortcuts post it like that and if you want to open it again you can just tap it and it's open and then to get back to files you can go that way and then slide back to your main folder structure this is how I typically do it on my computer but since my iPad screen is smaller I just use list like this and that's very simple that's how you simply open a folder and then open a file that's inside the folder so the next thing I want to talk about is how to scan a document into a folder so much like Apple Notes, you can do this with your iPad. So all you do is you open the folder where you want the document to be, and you press and hold, and it'll say Scan Document. And then you simply hold the document up like that. It'll auto-scan it. We'll click save and now that scan document is in the folder and there it is and you may have important things that you want to create maybe you have folders for I don't know health insurance or maybe you have it for um, you know warranties and auto maintenance and anything like that you can create your own folder structure and then scan your own documents and put them in there pretty simple okay the last thing I want to talk to you about is how to tag a file for quick retrieval so let me show you how to do that if you notice we have on the left something that says tags and if you notice we've got a bunch of colors and things like that and you've got some other tags with names on them if you want to tag a document we're gonna tap on the document I just scanned and you tap on the little share sheet icon and then you click add tags and then we'll add red tag and we're done and then we click done over here so now if we're here and we want to look at the document with the red tag we just tap on it and there we have it like that but red doesn't really help you very much knowing I mean what does that mean red I don't know what that means I do like the color of it, but I don't know what value there is in tagging some file with the name red. So you can edit those. So you tap on this little circle with three dots in it, and you click on edit sidebar, and then you click on red, and we're going to type this as insurance policies, and we're going to click done. And then we'll click done here and now you it, all the insurance policies you scan into your files app you can tag with that and instead of having to go in and dig through files and folders you can just tap on it and then up comes the insurance policy 
And that's a very easy way to quickly get to documents that you may need to retrieve on a regular basis. And that's how you use tags. I know that was a pretty quick look at the Files app, but it really is important to know where your files are located and how to get to them. And if it helps, watch this video again until you get it figured out. You can do it. And I do hope this short tutorial helped. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.